Hallo all miteinander, guten Abend und willkommen auch, Pokémon Mystery Dungeon! Gates to Infinity, or if you are listening to this music, Explorers of Darkness. Speaking of Explorers of Darkness, we have played and completed Explorers of Darkness on the channel, so if you want more goody goodness of Pokémon Mystery Dungeon, go check that out. That game was so fun, the story. Mm. Oh, baby, that story was great. I love that story. Uh, where are we right now? We're not in a dungeon, are we? Oh, no, we're in, we're in, okay. We're in town. Why? <laughs> it just left me somewhere random. I don't even know where I'm at right now. Uh, so, yeah, we gotta do things for Umbreon. I think it's what's going on here. We're about to go into a dungeon, right? Is that what's happening? I don't remember. I didn't record right away after we did what we did last time, so memory's a bit foggy, but I remember Umbreon, and I guess that's all that matters, so let's head out that way. Let's see here, what are we doing? Where would you like to go? Uh, we have some... Ah, here we go, Crags of Lament. Okay, so we're going here, so we are going to a new dungeon, and hopefully... Uh, there's some good Pokemon here. So, Pokemon that we're looking out for. Let me know if you see them. I'll probably see them first. But play along. We're looking for a Ghastly. And we're looking for... Are you my enemy? Or... Okay, you are my enemy. Okay. Ghastly. Um... Eevee. Which I know we won't get till like, the end of the game. And Pansir. Pansir I can get in the, uh, treasure area. But I don't want to go back there. After spending almost nine plus hours in there trying to grind for Lilligans, I'd rather never go back there in my entire life. But, you know, I, if I have to, I will. But, yeah. So, I want these three Pokemon. If we can find them, it would be helpful. Did somebody... No, he's still back there. Okay. Thought for a second there. He dispersed from the team. Ooh. Dungeon mu music's not bad. Oh, hello there, Swain Nub. Hello there, little man. Blech. Goodbye. I don't need that. I have so many of those. Ooh, don't have enough of that, though. Hello. What's that? 110! Oh, I like this dungeon already. 110. Dude, all the other dungeons have been giving me, like, jack nothing. I think I'm gonna get, like, 40-something. Dang, that's awesome. All right, now what's this one gonna be? 86. Okay, this is a good dungeon. This is a good dungeon. Now, what are we doing in this dungeon? Anyone remember? Oh, we're looking for Espeon, duh. duh. How did I forget that? Yeah, okay, so for those of you who are lost, as I am, uh, welcome back. We're playing Pokemon Gates of Infinity, and we're looking for Espeon here, because apparently she's being chased by a group of thugs or something. Ooh, that means we're gonna have a boss battle. Ooh, well, this'll be fun, considering we're so overpowered. Oh, yeah, did I show you guys how overpowered we are? I'm sure some of you are curious. Hold on, let's kill this guy real fast there. How are you still alive? There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Here are all of our levels currently. P.S. Ethan is not going to stay this creature. He's going to become the Ghastly we're going to catch. And I'm going to become the Eevee because I want to be a Glaceon because I'm beautiful and I love the cold. So it's fitting. And Ethan's just very dark and depressing. <laughs> so he's going to be a freaking Ghastly. I think everyone can guess who the fire monkey's going to be. And if you can't, well, you haven't been on this channel very long. But you'll find out eventually. <laughs> All right, let's go this way. Venipede! You know, I already have you, so I don't want you on my team. So if you could just, you know, die, it'd be a huge plus to society. You know, that protecting does not last very long. Neither do the status things. I feel like they only last, like, one turn if you're lucky. Like, they could last a bit longer. That is one minor complaint I do have. I also don't take damage a lot. <laughs> also, for anyone who's played this game, if you guys can explain to me um, what the powered up moves do. From what I can understand, it's supposed to make them stronger or more accurate, I think. I'm not entirely sure what it's supposed to do. Do not touch that Excadrill. Wow, she actually did. He's a deep sleeper. Wow, nice. Also, I saw that. I saw that Ornberry. Who had that? We're gonna kill them. I want that Ornberry. But yeah, uh, if anyone could tell me, you know, what, what they're supposed to do, that'd be great. Did we did we pick it up? Oh, Oshawott grabbed it. Okay, I was like, wait, did we get it? Because I didn't press A on that. Let's go over here. 
I do want that orange berry though. Uh, well, wait, how many, do, do I have any on me currently? Oh, I can barely see. All right, let's see here. Wait, what am I doing? I'll just do this. Ha <laughs> ha, make things easier on me. And what do you know we do? We have two of them right there. Is that all? Oh, we got a third one. Okay, so we have three. All right, all right. The shiny stone, of course, of course, because I have every other freaking stone on me. Okay, so we have we have at least three orange berries. We're fine. I don't need it. So far, this game's been pretty easy. And considering what level I'm at, I don't think I'm going to need many. <gasps> run, Spion, run! Uh, uh. <laughs> you can't escape us no matter how quick you scamper! I really hope this is some useless Pokemon that I gave that voice to. Where? Where are you? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? Why don't you come find us? Um, I'm the one running from you here. Why would I come after you? I'm trying to get away. You'll never catch me. Not fools like you. Besides, I know what you're after. And I'll never hand them over to you. <laughs> what a troublesome girl. But she is looking pretty tired, ain't she? It's only a matter of time before we nab her. We'd better finish this up. We'll be the ones getting the run rank next. Playtime's over then. I really hope this is some useless book one. And so is Esvion's freedom. I have a feeling that's Krogonk or something. Didn't I give him like a, if that's Krogonk, this is going to be hilarious because in our Pokemon Mystery Dungeons Explorer of Darkness playthrough, I believe I gave him like the most deepest voice possible. And now he just sounds like a drug addict. <laughs> I guess his little swap shop didn't go very well and now he's falling into a depression. <laughs> Hitting all time low. Poor Krogonk. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Did somebody grab an orb, or was one used? I wasn't paying attention. All I know is Swineup was murdered. Also, Arrow can't be gentle. That creature's life is fragile. It's dead. Well, can't go and fix that now. Oh, well. Alright, thank you, text. I can't see I can't see my map when that's sitting there. Oh, hello! Figgits! Dead? Yeah. That sounds about right. Oh, he had Ah, oh, I just wasted that. Oh, what was that for? I'm on your side, Vinipede. The side of justice. All right, let's cut through here. We're gonna go up here, actually. I got a good feeling about- Hey, it's a- uh, Oh, what are you called? Oh. You evolved from Cottony, I know that. A Whimsicott, yeah! Dude, this thing's pretty cool. This is a Pokemon Black exclusive. Uh, it's a really cool Pokemon. I like Whimsicott. However, my personal favorite will always be... Oh, I thought she'd turn around. But yeah, it's the beautiful Lilligant right there. She is from Pokemon White, and she evolves from Petalil. Lilligant, I very recently discovered as a Pokemon. I mean, I knew she exists, obviously. But I always forgot about her and Whimsicott because I never used uh, Petalil or Cottony, and I never really had the stones to evolve them. So it's like, I just never used them. But after dis discovering Lilligan, not only is she powerful, but she's beautiful. And that is why I like her. Whimsicott is okay, but it's not beautiful, and I don't I don't think it's that powerful. I could be wrong, though. I don't use Whimsicott. Uh, so I don't even know what it can learn or what its stats are. But I can't imagine that it's as powerful as Lilligan. I, ju I just, I can't. There's, there's no freaking way. And if you want to say otherwise, well, you're wrong. Just, <laughs> just out. Do, 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 do. Hey, a Swyanub, how are you? Guess what? Ah, hey, treasure, cool. We don't need those anymore. Those things are a waste of my time. I already got what I need. Dude, look at my body. I walk with such pride, it just sways back and forth. Dude, I love Snivy's animation. I cannot lie, that animation is beautiful. Hey, it's a freaking Swoobat! Well, that's awesome. But he died. Could have been nice for the team, but eh, whatever. Any stairs here? Uh, I'll go this way. Why not? 
Who knows? Could be something in here. Ha 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 ha! Yes! And that's how we roll! Got that big brain energy. Oh, what's this? This is a halfway point. I mean, not that it matters, but how much do I have? I have like $2,000 on me. Oh, <laughs> dang it. I thought I had accumulated that much. No, that's just all the money that I had. All right, whatever. Let's go, soldiers. Are we ready? Heck yeah, we're ready. Prags of Lament, floor six. That is such a cool skill. I don't remember how I got that. I think it was from the treasures. Um, I'll briefly try to explain what those do, by the way. Both of them. So, the treasure boxes you can get opened at, um... Oh, what's his name? I used him a lot, too. Rampardos. At Rampardos' shop, he'll bust them up with a skull for, like, 150. And some of them can contain skills. The skills are for the special board. We can look at that once we get out of this dungeon. Uh, but basically, you get these skills for your team. And one of them was that uh, PP thing. Oh, no, Erica, she's poisoned. Oh, God, and she's grass. This is, oh, no, oh, no. Oh, no. Do I have a thing? Do I have a, I usually try to keep one on me. Okay, well, we have a reviver. I don't want to waste that on her. Um. Ooh, yikes. Okay. Oh, we have a heal. Okay, okay. Yes. I'm so freaking big brain. There you go, Erica, you healed. And it did. Okay, whatever. Now I know to never feed that to them directly. I thought it would heal us all because usually when I eat it, the whole team gets a shield for the rest of the dungeon. I feed it to them and the greedy. They keep it all for themselves. That's fine. I didn't need protection. It's not like I'm a grass type too. Or Ethan. It's not like we're weak to the same things, but whatever. Be greedy, Erica. It's fine. I mean, she is princess. She deserves it all. But whatever. You know, it's not like I want to live. Do you mind? I'm ranting. Go away. Freaking whimsy cuts. Uh, I guess we'll just keep going this way. Do -do -do -do. Walking on the side of a cliff. Hope I don't die. Do -do -do. We are really high up, though. Like, Jesus. Look at this. It's crazy. Uh, I'll cut through here. Oh. Oh, wait. No. There we go. There's more. No stairs. Stair. Dang it. No stairs. That's sadness. Where else can I go? Ah, uh, I see. Way over there. Ooh, wait. Actually, wait. I think right here is also... Might as well just check this, right? Oh, jeez. This, this floor is huge. Eh, whatever. Nothing but time. Hey, hey, look at that. And time rewards me well. Alright, well, let's go this way. 110, and it's a Whimsicott! Ah, uh, yes, easily murderable. Not that we'll ever see it before we leave, but eh, if we do, it's on my radar. Whoa, okay, double trouble. Hi, how's it going? Um, can I. Can we do a thing? We cannot do a thing. Hmm. Does that to manually actually just kill you all one by one? Well, that's boring. I was hoping to kill you both at the same time. Oh, well, see you around. Oh, hey, I got a box. Yay me. I definitely wanted that. Yep. Oh, hi. Um, you can go back thinking of that, please. Ah, my eyes! Uh, all power-up orb. Mm. Sounds interesting. All right, let's keep going this way. Dude, this music, though, my goodness. This is intense. I mean, I know we're high up, but my goodness. Hello? Anything over here? Oh, Venipede. <gasps> ah, Whimsicott! Hello there, I believe you have what I'm searching for. Now, don't you cotton spore me, just die. Dang it! It's the wrong one. Well, since you came from here... Hey, you want to join me? Hey, <laughs> all right. See, it never hurts to ask. Welcome aboard, lad. 
Uh, your name, you're just gonna say Swine Up. I don't really have a, a nickname for you. Yeah, Swine Up's fine. Nice! Dude, we got a freaking Swine Up! <laughs> dude, I love Swine Up. He's awesome. Uh, what level? You're only level 16! Oh, you poor child. Look how pathetic you are. Go, my child. Go back to the gates and may you wait for me. When I return, you shall become an all-powerful god. And so Swine Up was never seen from again and forgotten in the ranks of useless soldiers. He died later that year out in a war on the front lines. <laughs> Poor Swine Up. <laughs> he said his dreams were to finally become a pillow of swine and serve a purpose for humanity. I'm afraid he served no purpose. <laughs> but this does. Hooray! A pair of stairs! These stairs have done more for me than that Swine Up ever will. <laughs> And there's a freaking Whimsicott over there. Oh, there's like two of them, actually. Whimsicott and a Venipede. That's lovely. Can I interest you in some death? Hey, thanks. Ethan, you stole my, my murder. How dare you? That's not nice. I had the guy lined up in my sights, and he murdered him. Mm, we'll go this way. This way couldn't hurt. Ooh, there's an up way too. I guess we'll go this way. Also, I called it. We didn't find that whimsicott with the 110. I knew we wouldn't. These dungeon maps are actually kind of large, and half the time I never find the Pokemon that pop up on the screen like that, and they say like what they found. I usually never find them. Maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe this guy's got some cash on him. Ha ha! Oh wow! Oh wow! Was that guy exactly? Wow. Well, that's kind of cool. And you stare. Ooh, yikes. This is a big map. All right. It's fine. It's fine. I like a big map, you know? Like a challenge. It is fine. Hmm, let's see. Guess we'll go over here. Oh, well, hi there. Is this the Venipede Convention? Where the hell is Ethan? Oh, there he is. He's back there. I thought he stormed off again. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. I already have you. And the one that I have is extremely more powerful. Bye-bye. I have no time for you. Actually, speaking of that, Venipede, we should have him join my team. I think he might be able to evolve, actually. Because he's been sitting there for quite some time, just gaining levels. Yeah, we should probably check out on him. We're going to do that. When we get out of this dungeon, we're going to check in on him. Because if he will evolve, that would be so awesome. Because Scolipede is hands down one of my favorite Pokemon and favorite bug Pokemon uh, of all time. So we'll definitely use him if able. Oh, hi! This is scary. You're not here dead. Never mind. I was going to say he is part uh, wind. So. Wind. What? He's part flying. And uh, I don't want to die. Surprise! Surprise! I know, right? Me wanting to live. Shocking, I know. But uh, yeah, I, I have some things I need to do, you know? Let's see here. Where else can we, uh... Is this a connecting way to that thing over there? I think it is. Yep, it is. Okay, we'll just do this then. Hey, it's fine. How are you? <gasps> oh, I can do the move thing. Well, we're not going to waste it on these two. Hi, Wimsicott. You want to join me? No. Okay, well, it's worth asking, I suppose. Oh, oh, wait, we already went that way. Um, where else can we go? Oh, this map is so hard to look at. Okay, I think there's a way, like, back here, maybe? No, that's not a way. Hmm... There's gotta be... Or no, maybe it is. We'll, we'll, we'll do it anyways. We'll just try. I got nothing else to go on. See, now that... Can you can you stop that? That's that's annoying. Could you not do that, please? Thanks. Is it a way? It looks like one. Aha! And what do you know, the frickin' stairs. Is 410 gonna be the one? I hope it is. That, that would be convenient, huh? 
Oh, there's White Nobo. How's he going? Bye bye, buddy. No, please. At least you died in your sleep, soldier. Could have been worse. Do -do -do. Just walk on by. Don't bother the nice sleeping excadrill. I'm sure it has many reasons to be sleeping. Let's not pester him. We'll go in here. Oh, floor 10. Where are you? I want to be your friend. Speaking of friends, hey, you want to... Aw, poor Whimsicott. It just doesn't understand its brilliance yet. That's okay. What is this? <gasps> That's a health orb! Oh, wait. That's not a seed. Never mind. Hey, you! Let's be friends. The power of friendship compels you. What do you say? The power of friendship! See, this is what happens when you have no friends. Oh, did it? Oh, I had to turn. I'm so blind. Oh, goody. Hello. Okay. That works. Hey, even better. Okay, well, that really works. I'm okay with all of this. All right, let's see what's happening. <sighs> Oh no, it's a dead end. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, it's a Paraguay. Okay, well then I, I have a much better voice for Paraguay then, okay. All this running and dodging is really wearing me out. But it looks like we've got you perfectly cornered now. <laughs> Hey, Perugly, at least you got the easy part. I'm the one who had to run ahead and cut her off. Croak. Oh, it's the... I'm super tired. This guy. Toxic Croak or whatever. Oh dear, Toxic Croak. Perhaps a sign. You need more exercise. Hmm. I mean, she's rather thick, ain't she? <laughs> now hand them over. Give us everything you've got. <laughs> like she's gonna listen to you. It'll be the fastest to just take them by force. Anything on her? Ah! Hey, where'd you stash him? Where's the intercards? If you don't tell us, we'll have to force it out of you. I hope you're prepared, Espion. Stop now! I am ferocious. That looks like it must be Espion over there. <laughs> All right, we made it. No? Yeah? What is this? Who are you strangers? We're the Enforces! And we're here to save Espion! What are those fools talking about? I don't get it! Gah! You! You're so irritating! I just want to get this job over with! Guess we just have to take care of him then! Let's get this over with quick. You're right. Looks like that's our only choice. <laughs> Here they come, Tama. I don't know who you fools are, but you picked the wrong party to crash. Let's go! <laughs> All right, God. Toxic croak and a per ugly. Oh, God. Where the hell's Ethan? Is he even here? Oh, there he is. I couldn't even see him for a second there. Oh, of course. And they're behind us, too, so they're gonna do absolutely nothing. That's great. Too bad for, uh, for Ugly here. 
my Lilligant happens to have a magic leaf ability. So you're gonna get screwed, losers. Oh, wait. She's aimed at me, isn't she? Ah, crap baskets. Well then, I'm just gonna do that. No, Ashwa, no! Ashwa! You've been taunted. Actually, I've been put to sleep, but whatever. It's fine, really, I need a good nap after all this walking. <laughs> I'm pretty sure everyone will be fine. I, I don't see. They're only doing like nine damage. Oh my god, we're so overpowered. We're so powerful. Oh my god. If I could just wake up, please, that'd be nice. Erica, if you could also get into the fray, that'd be no. Oh, he. That was a poison move. Okay, that that makes way more sense. All right, get in there, Erica. All right, come on, guys, you got this. <laughs> Jack squat. Oh my god, that was amazing. Scrum. Well, that was awkward. Oh, Espion, you all right? Hey, you okay? Did, did they get you? We're here to help you. Uh, Ambryon told us everything. I... I see. Ambryon, he... Thank you for saving me. I've probably seen better days, but I'll be fine. No, I... I am fine. Pokemon like that can't get the better of me. You got some guts, at least, that's for sure. I'm glad to hear it. More importantly, though, I must hurry to Post Town. There's something I have to be sure of. Got it. Let's go, then. Umbreon's waiting for us, too. Did... Yeah. I I'm surprised he didn't come with us, though. I mean, he's the one looking for you. I think he would have been here, but hey, whatever. I guess we'll save and continue. Why not? Espeon! Umbreon! I'm so glad you're alright! I, I, I didn't... No, I was more worried about you, but... As much as I just want to enjoy this moment with you, there's something I have to... I know, Espeon. But we've got to at least thank Toma and the others properly first. Of course. Toma, Ashawat... Everyone, are you all so much? You saved us. Neither of us would be here without you. No problem. We're just glad you're both okay. But, uh, the Pokemon who attacked you two, who could they be? Who knows? I've got no idea who they are, but... Umbreon, they really were after the Enter cards. So they were. That was my guess. I really don't know who the Pokemon that attacked us were, but if they were after the inner cards, then their goal seems obvious enough. Either they must want to get in the way of our research, or they planned on to steal the inner cards, because they want to go to the Great Glacier themselves. What? What? Hey! Wait up! You just said... You know you just said something amazing like it was nothing, right? Uh... Did... Did I really? I just said they might be after the Ender cards to get to the Great Glacier. The, the Great Glacier? You were saying you could actually go to the Great Glacier? That mighty distant glacier the Nay Pokemon is ear-reached. Yes, yes, he can go there. Uh, uh, you're right. I guess I hadn't mentioned any of this yet, had I? The two of us have decided our careers to Wow, okay. The two of us have dedicated our careers to studying the Great Glacier. Deep within the Great Glacier, that's where it must be. The Great Crystal that causes all matter surrounding it to float in the air. That is what Umbreon believes. 
The great crystal that makes matter? F float There's no way to prove it exists except by going into the great glacier itself. But in front of the great glacier is a huge crevice that prevents anyone from ever reaching it. That's why we thought of using the, the ley lines. We want to use them to create a dungeon that would lead beyond the crevices. That dungeon could get us right up to the base of the great glacier. If we can just make enter cards that will create such a dungeon. We could be able to reach the Great Glacier, at least we think so. That... that's amazing! Then that means... that... that with both of your sets of enter cards together, you could actually reach the Great Glacier! Pretty much, yeah. Though, we still need to make a few more adjustments. But, it might be too late for that now. Spion, from the looks of things, you don't have your enter cards anymore, do you? Did those crooks steal them from you? It's fine. It doesn't matter if they did. I don't even care about losing the other cards. If you... As long as you're safe and you're with me again, then I... Honestly, Umbreon, could you not lead to your own conclusions without giving me a chance to explain? The anacarns weren't stolen. Wh what? But instead, well, I... I almost would have preferred if they had been. The truth is that I, I've done something I truly regret, Umbreon. Oh, you're here. Are you all right? You didn't get hurt. Please tell me you're okay. Yes, ma'am. I'm just fine. And these are... Yeah, I was going to say, didn't he have those earlier? Uh, are those the anacards? But why did Swad Loon have them? I kept my promise, ma'am. Wait, what was his voice? It was like deeper or something. I kept my promise, ma'am. I didn't tell nobody. Not anybody. Yes, I see that. Thank you, little one. You must have been so scared. Nah, I wouldn't get scared over that. I'm really strong. <laughs> I'm really strong. Darn right he is. He's a Swad Loon. I, I'm so glad. Please forgive me. <laughs> I, I, I'm really okay, ma'am. Not as, oh, please don't cry. What in the world is going on? I really can't imagine. Miss Espion, it's nice to meet you. I am this boy's mother. Oh, I, I I'm so sorry. What, what I did was so unforgivable. <laughs> because of my actions, your son, this sweet child, was put in danger. In danger? If you don't mind, could you please explain what happened to my son? Uh, of course. Ever since I lost sight of Umbreon, I've been on the run from our pursuers. I tried to make it to Post Town, but my enemies were always out one step ahead. I've been so close to Post Town for so long, but never made it to safety. I buried my precious belongings so that they wouldn't fall into the wrong hands. But I couldn't stop worrying, so I went back to my hiding spot in, in Flora Forest. Yeah, and he found them. <sighs> I made my way to the spot where I had buried my things. Every moment I felt like my enemies might be only a few steps behind me. <sighs> but when I reached my hiding spot... Short loon. This young boy was there. Kim. You! What do you think you're doing? Ah! I'm sorry! The Hannah cards! This child had dug up my precious belongings. There they were in the dirt, including the Hannah cards. Oh, uh, th th does this all belong to you, ma'am? I'm really sorry. I, I wouldn't have disturbed them if I knew they belonged to someone. I was rattled. If my pursuers had found this child, the Anarchards would have been lost forever. More importantly, though, if they had followed me into the forest, we still might be attacked at any moment. What to do? I searched desperately for an answer, and that's when I made a mistake. Child, you must listen carefully to what I'm about to say. O okay No, not like this. If I look desperate, he'll just be frightened. I have to be calm. Ready. Listen, um, it's true that these things belong to me, but 
Is there something here that you wanted in particular? Yeah. I thought this red stone was really pretty. Is that right? Then, I'll give you this stone. What? Oh, really? It's yours. But first, I need you to make me a promise. I want you to take those cards with you as well. These cards? That's right. I want you to keep them until I come to get them back from you. And the cards will be our little secret, all right? Just yours and mine. I don't want you to tell anyone else about these cards. What do you think? Can you promise me that? Yeah, I will. I promise. I won't tell nobody about your cards, ma'am. I live in Post Town. Come and visit soon, okay? I will. <laughs> that noise. Someone coming? Oh, okay. Then I've got to be going, but you're going straight home, right? Your mother will be worried about you. Yeah, I'll head back now. What about the dad? Is there no dad? See you later. I had no dad. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah, what? <laughs> Woohoo! No dad! Yeah, party! What the hell, Swan Loon? Woohoo! I got the red jewel! Nice! Mama's gonna love this. And that was how I ended up entrusting the other cards to this child. I mean, makes sense. You found them, you were panicked. But afterward, I realized what I had done. My folly. Despite any promises, our secret might not remain a secret for long. By placing the undercards in this child's care, if the Pokemon pursuing us somehow learned that he had the cards... It... It's certainly true that... Or this wizard loon would have been the one to pay! As soon as I realized that, I hurried back to Inflora Forest at once. But... I was too late. Swadloon was gone. We must have just passed one another. You probably headed back into the forest. Right after we had gone to rescue Swadloon. I may have been desperate, but... Thinking about the danger I put that innocent boy in, I... But I was only on... But I was on the run every moment after that. I never had a chance to look for him. And the whole time I was running, I was positively sick with worry. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness nothing happened. Please don't cry, Miss Espion. Listen to my mom, ma'am. Please don't cry. You were so afraid and you acted on that fear. You felt you had no other choice. Yet even while you were being hunted, you kept my son in your heart. Thank you. And most importantly, my sword Loon kept his promise to you. That makes me proud. He is surely stronger for having shared this secret with you and being true to his word. As a mother, I'm grateful to you for that gift, Miss Espion. <laughs> That's great, huh, Espion? Espion. Yes, everything has worked out. That's one mystery solved, at least. But Umbreon, what are the two of you planning to do now? Yeah, about that. If it's not too much trouble, would it be all right if we stayed here for a bit longer? There's a good chance we'll be targeted again as soon as we leave Post Town. And neither of us is in the best shape right now. Then I suppose that's probably for the best. Of course you can stay. We aren't expecting any other guests, so you can keep your rooms as long as you need them. Th thank you, Swana. We'll definitely take you up on that. Everyone should get used to seeing us as a regular fixture in the inn for a while. You'll still have to pay your bills, of course. <laughs> You still have to pay your bills, though. Yes, nothing's free here in Post Town. I... I knew that. Damn it all. <laughs> He's just like, dang it. I didn't want to pay no bills. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, no. Trouble strikes in Post Town. Oh. Never mind. Today was definitely, uh, <laughs> eventful. Well, at least Espion wasn't hurt, right? When we first met Espion, I thought she was really tough. But she also takes things seriously. And tries really hard. And I never thought she'd just burst into tears like that. Umbreon's really single-minded, too. I like him. I really like both of them. It's true. It's obvious even to us how serious Espion and Umbreon are about the, the research. And what about that inner cards? And, wh and what about the inner cards they study? And the magnet created by those cards? 
At that moment, when that circle of light flooded the hill, the sight of that magnate appearing from the middle of the blinding light, that's something I'll never forget. And Umbreon even said that was the, that was the incomplete version. What will be like once it's completed? I kind of want to see that. Yeah, I know what you mean. Hey, Tama, I've been thinking. I'd really like to help Espeon and Umbreon with their research. What do you think? It wouldn't be a bad idea for the Enforcers to help out, wouldn't it? I think it'd be great. Yeah, I'm glad it's not just me. Thanks, Tama. So we'll go talk to Umbreon about it tomorrow, okay? I guess we ought to call it a night. <sighs> tomorrow, then. Night, Tama. Night, Ashwad. Wow, so... We're gonna help those two out. Wow, that's pretty impressive. <laughs> Any more story? Morning, Toma. Let's give it all again today. Yes, please. All right, so that's gonna do it for this video here today. Uh, I guess we'll jump right into the next one right after this, but thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, if you haven't already, like I said at the beginning of this video, don't forget to go and check out Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Darkness. And if you have a free moment, why don't you check out my stop motions? Uh, I have some good news. My very last package that I've been waiting on for almost a month now, has finally been returned. It's on its way back to the original seller, and then it'll be in my possession soon. And when it is, I can finally start episode nine of Class of 107. So why not do a little refresher and watch some of the previous episodes that have already released. And of course, there's Mystery Dungeon as well. Uh, so you can check that out too. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, Dankeschön und bis später.